fingernails, helping you stay frugal with nerd. And thank you guys so much for 300 subscribers. Woo! Woo! And I'm going to be doing a 300 subscriber special soon. So I hope you tune in, in for that. I think I'll do like... 50 random questions about me. You think that would be a fun video to watch? Tell me down in the comment section down below. But for this video, I'm going to be doing a manger scene and I'm going to make a, a gradient with acrylic paint. What am I talking about? What is this information? Well, I'm just going to have to show you. First things first, we're going to put base coat on because we always want to protect our natural nails. I'm using the Wet n Wild Dollar Base Coat and it is a good base coat for only a buck. It is very cheap nails approved. Now, after all of my nails are painted with the base coat and it's dry, I'm going to take some Elmer's glue and a paintbrush and I'm going to paint that around my nail. If you don't have liquid latex, you can paint Elmer's glue around your nail for easy cleanup. Now, right here, I did not paint it on thick enough. you got to put a pretty much good, a good amount of Elmer's glue around your nail for it to peel off. I didn't know that when I was doing that. I thought I put it on thick enough. I did not. So this is not going to peel up because I did not apply it thick enough. So we got a lot of cleaning to do. Okay, I waited for the Elmer's root glue to completely dry and then I took a makeup sponge and I held it up against my nail just to see how long my nail is and see how much sponge I needed. And then I took a paintbrush and I painted the top with light blue acrylic paint and then I painted uh, right next to it dark blue acrylic paint and I made sure they just touched a little bit in the center because we're doing a uh, dark uh, light to dark gradient. Now I'm going to go ahead and sponge that on my nail and I did like five uh, coats of this. I did this on all of my nails, the same technique and I swear I did like five coats of it because I forgot to paint my nails white and if I would have painted my nails white it would have been more opaque and I probably only needed to sponge it on twice but I didn't do it. So I had to do it just a couple of more times, but it was very fun to do. It was really fun. Okay, now that all of my nails are opaquely gradient eed, however you say it, I'm going to take my tweezer and take off the, you know, Elmer's glue, but it will not come off. Like, it will not come off. Just little pieces, because I did not uh, apply it correctly. You, you have to put a thick layer of Elmer's glue, and I just didn't do it, so it just will not come off. So I tried to get as much off with my tweezer as I could, but it was not coming off. It was not peeling off, let me tell you. So I took a cotton ball dipped in at pure acetone and I just started rubbing it. And this is what I said in this moment. This will not destroy me. And truly, it was not going to. I'm going to take a, I took a little brush and then I took some acetone and I got just all around the nail until I got it to look like this. Okay, now we're going to cut a makeup sponge because I'm going to carefully sponge this Kaleidoscope Wet n Wild nail pol Glitter Nail Polish on and I'm going to put it on that little piece of sponge that I cut and I'm going to sponge that on my finger. Now I'm not going to get any on my skin because I've had enough cleaning up today, okay? I'm not cleaning around my nail anymore. So there we go, and now I'm gonna go to onto my ring finger, and this is where I'm gonna draw the manger scene. I'm gonna take some black acrylic paint, and I'm gonna try to like draw the barn from this picture, and I'm gonna draw like the roof, and then the sides, and then I'm gonna draw a little square in the middle, and that is supposed to be the manger where Jesus is laying, and then I'm gonna draw Joseph and Mary on both sides. I'm gonna make Joseph a little taller than Mary, because I notice in most manger scenes, that Joseph is standing up and Mary is kneeling. So I have him standing, her kneeling. And now I'm gonna write the star and I'm gonna take some white acrylic paint and I'm gonna write across and then I'm gonna write some dot lines around it and then I'm gonna take a dotting tool and write some stars around it. Isn't it just beautiful? It's like this, this like night sky, you know? I thought it looked really pretty with the stars, so I tried to add as many stars as possible. I used my smallest dotting tool that I had to get those tiny stars. And now we're gonna put a quick dry top coat on to seal in this acrylic paint. You'd think it wouldn't be that hard to clean up around your nail because it wasn't actually nail polish, it was acrylic paint, but uh, it was. This is my first time doing a gradient and there's a whole story behind why I've never done one. And I think I'll make a video about it, like a polish story time. 
but these nails are all done now and I think they came out really pretty. You guys can tell me what you think about them down below and I think they're beautiful and I think I really captured the night scene. I didn't, didn't know how it was going to turn out when I first started the, practicing this design but I think it turned out all, out awesome. Can you guys believe that Christmas is three days away? It just came upon us like a midnight clear. I do regret not putting a thicker layer of Elmer's glue on. I regret it. Never got the glue out of my cuticles, let me tell you. <laughs> and you should also paint your nails white and then do this do acrylic paint uh, gradient. Yes, paint your nails beforehand. I should have did that. Oh wow. I think it turned out very pretty. You guys can tell me down in the comment section down below. And I hope you have a very Merry Christmas. And don't forget to tell Jesus happy birthday. Because even though there wasn't room for him in the inn, make room for him in your heart. I'll see you guys next time. Love ya. Thank you again for 300 subscribers. I'll see you next week. Goodbye.